Step number one, earn money on KuCoin. Step number two, withdraw money from KuCoin. Step number three, enjoy the lifestyle. In my previous videos, you have learned how to earn money on KuCoin. And you have seen that KuCoin is one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges in the whole universe with billions of dollars being traded every single day. And in today's video, I will show you click by click how to withdraw money from KuCoin. There are a few different ways to withdraw money from KuCoin, for example, to your bank account or crypto account, and I will show them to you in a moment. In a nutshell, there are simply three steps to withdraw money. First, you decide what do you want to withdraw. Do you want to withdraw Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies or fiat currencies such as US dollars and euros? Second, you choose where do you want to withdraw that money to your bank account or another crypto wallet or Visa card so you can immediately spend in real life. And then step number three is just do it. Before I show you here click by click how you can withdraw money from KuCoin, I want to mention that if you are not yet a KuCoin member, I will leave your link in the description. That gives you the best bonuses for KuCoin. When you click the link below my video, you will land on KuCoin homepage where it says mystery boxes worth up to $500 exclusively for new users and when you click here to sign up you can register for 100 free and when you use my referral code let me show you what it says it gives you additional bonuses you will enjoy 10 percent discount on your trading fees so make sure that you sign up if you haven't already but now let's have a look how you can withdraw money from this website before withdrawing, you of course want to earn money here on KuCoin and I have shown you the processes here on my playlist. And now when I show you different withdrawal methods, let's start with Bitcoin, which is the strongest form of money ever seen on planet Earth. One thing that I want you to know is that on KuCoin there are different wallets and when you want to withdraw money, I recommend that you put your money in the same wallet. You can see now I have money in the main account and trading account. A little bit of futures account, I will leave it there because I have one trade there open. But now from my trading account, I want to withdraw the money to my main account for free. And then from my main account, I will withdraw the money in front of your eyes. So I will click here transfer and I will choose here BTC. Let's have a look and type here BTC. And from trading account to main account, there is around 0.07 BTC and now it's here when we click the main account you can see I have there around 0.3 BTC and when I click here withdraw I will immediately be able to withdraw the money and here you can easily withdraw Bitcoin for example to your own wallet on your mobile phone or your Trezor or Ledger Nano or Cold Card or also to other cryptocurrency exchanges such as Binance, OKX, Nexo, and so on and so forth. I will show you now an example withdrawal from KuCoin to Binance. No matter which platform or wallet you withdraw the money to, the process is the same. First, you need to deposit address. And for example, on Binance, it's here BTC. I click here deposit. Then you select here the network. And this is important because if you choose the wrong network, then the money may be gone. So make sure to choose the right network. For example here BTC, then you can see the address here, you click here to copy the address and then you simply paste the address here on KuCoin, so that's how easy it is. And here you will be choosing the network, so make sure that you choose the same network that you chose on the receiving end, right, so then the money goes through. Now I have put the address here, I have chosen the network BTC which is Bitcoin and I will withdraw all 0.3 BTC. You can see that on KuCoin there is a relatively high withdrawal fee for BTC, that is 0.005 BTC as you can see on the screen and at the current price it's around $10 and it may be even more in US dollars when you are watching this video. It may also be lower because sometimes they lower the fees. So if you are withdrawing only small amounts, I would recommend that you do the same that I showed you in my previous videos here. You can convert the money into USDT, for example here on the convert section or spot trading section, and then you can withdraw that USDT because there is just one dollar fee. So you save there at the current prices, I would save 
nine dollars in fees however the amount that i'm withdrawing is around six thousand so it doesn't matter so much because if i would start trading that would also incur some fees so it's just easier and faster to withdraw using bitcoin and of course at the same time i'm supporting bitcoin network then i will simply click here withdraw then it asks you to confirm the withdrawal i click here confirm then it asks for a security verification and then it shows that withdrawal has successfully been initiated so that's how easy it is to withdraw bitcoin on kucoin once you have confirmed the withdrawal you will see it here on the recent withdrawals and in the beginning it will be processing and then it will be initiated and done and confirmed and ready you can see for example on my wallet now the available amount is zero dollars because i have withdrawn everything so they are now in withdrawal orders right here and in the same way like i just withdrew some bitcoin you will be able to withdraw any cryptocurrency from this platform let's have another example if you want to withdraw b and b you click here withdraw then you enter your withdrawal address right here you select the network right here then you click the confirm as i just showed you and then the withdrawal will be done as you know bitcoin and cryptocurrency transactions are ultra easy they are much easier than bank transfers where you need to put the name sometimes even the address if you are doing international transactions and all kinds of complicated things with cryptocurrency and bitcoin transactions you copy paste one address you click confirm and then it's done it's so easy and that's why of course bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are becoming more and more popular because they are so easy to use and of course they are going up in value especially bitcoin one option is of course withdrawing money to your own wallet such as Trezor, Ledger, Nano and Cold Card. But another option is to withdraw the money to an account where you can use it immediately in everyday life. For example, if you have a mobile wallet that you can pay with in real life. For example, I will show you now a clip when I was paying with my Bitcoin wallet in a restaurant last week that's also one option another option is using crypto visa cards let me give you a couple of examples for example binance visa card or a crypto cam visa card then there is also a nexo visa card i haven't yet used this one but this one i have already used for more than a year this one i have also used more than a year with these ones you can easily pay so then you don't need to use old-fashioned bank accounts that may freeze your account and do all kinds of weird things a benefit with many crypto cards is also that they give you money back for all your purchases for example i once recorded the video and i earned like 45 50 dollars simply by doing the purchases that i did in the video so that is also another benefit because many bank cards they don't give you money in fact the bank card that i was using from my old-fashioned bank they charge me money every single month for my account meanwhile these cards are free they will give me money for shopping so that's why i prefer using that withdrawal method than a bank account by the way while i have been talking to you right here the deposit has been arriving here to binance you can see it already right here so that's how easy and fast it is really to transact bitcoin and this is of course in the bitcoin network if you are using lightning network on bitcoin then the transactions are immediate all right so those were two different options withdrawing bitcoin or cryptocurrencies and then also using crypto visa cards or your bitcoin wallets for payment but then you can also withdraw money from kucoin to bank accounts and the easiest way to do that is probably kucoin peer to peer i have of course created a dedicated video where i show and explain more about it but before i explain to you how you will be withdrawing money to your bank account i want to give you a word of warning about government currencies because almost all of them are going down for example us dollar has lost around 78 percent of its value in the last five years against bitcoin british pound has lost around 81 percent euro has lost more than 82 percent and indian rupee has lost even more and if you take a longer time frame around seven years indian rupee has lost almost 99 percent euro has lost almost 99 percent and british pound also has lost almost 99 percent so all the government currencies are losing all of their value against bitcoin not a finance advice not an investment advice simply an observation of the facts that you can verify yourself and that's why it's really risky to hold your money in a bank account because as you can see here no matter what government currency you are holding generally you are losing value 
constantly and many banks force you to hold these weak currencies such as euros, dollars, British pound, Indian rupee that lose value constantly. And second reason why banks are not often recommended is that they often freeze accounts. So you may have some money in your bank account and they freeze the funds and then you need to call them and answer all kinds of questions. This has happened to me at least twice with one bank. Now I closed that bank account because it was such a painful because other banks are much easier at least. But on that bank they might freeze your account every now and then and then you need to call them and then open and you know all these kind of time consuming things. So for example KuCoin and Binance are much easier in that sense because you can just use your money whenever you want. And the third thing that you must know is that some banks don't like that you engage with cryptocurrencies so they also might start asking you all kinds of questions because of that. But if you still after all of this want to withdraw money to old fashioned bank accounts it's really easy to do here on KuCoin peer-to-peer -peer section. The first thing that I recommend you to do is to convert your money here in the USDT because that usually has the best rate. Of course you can directly use Bitcoin here but generally it doesn't have as good rate as USDT. So you can use for example convert and convert BTC into USDT. I saw it here on my playlist how you can do it or you can alternatively use the spot trade. Once you have USDT, you can come here to sell in order to withdraw. Then you choose which currency you want to receive. Again, they saw all of these weak currencies such as US dollar, euro and all of these that are going down. For example, if you want US dollars, then you choose right here. And then you can directly sell your USDT for USDT and receive it in your bank. For example, if you are using Wave money, you choose one of these. If you are using Perfect money, you choose that one. If you use Google Pay, you choose that one. If you use Zelle, so you choose the one that you are personally using. And if you don't find it here, you can also create an ad and then others will see it right here on this section. There are dozens of different bank accounts that work worldwide on KuCoin. I show you all the details of peer-to-peer -peer on this video right here, which is on my playlist, Earn Money on KuCoin. And now you can see that before even I finished recording this video, the Bitcoin deposit has immediately arrived here on Binance. You can see it's right here. And that's how easy it was to withdraw money from KuCoin. In the same way, if I would want to withdraw, for example, to Nexo and use the Nexo card to pay for my purchases, I could do the same here. So I could click here to top up and then I would copy my address. I would come to KuCoin, I would paste it and then I would be able to withdraw. So it's really easy to withdraw money from KuCoin. You can see that now my main account and trading account is at zero balance because I withdrew the money in front of your eyes. I still have a small trade here in the futures account and surely I will be keep on making money on KuCoin also in the future. If you want to learn more about how to use KuCoin, come immediately to my playlist Earn Money on KuCoin, where you will learn how to get the KuCoin bonus, top three cryptocurrencies to invest this year, how to use the KuCoin app on your mobile phone, KuCoin cloud mining, how to make money on KuCoin earn automatically, and much, much more. See you immediately on my playlist.